That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. I just want to keep Madame Carlyle safe. I like to know about the Indians. <laughs> yeah, keep her safe. <laughs> Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Oh, no. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jed. Thank you, I guess. Uh, well, then, that might be a bit of a problem for me. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Hey. I have an idea. <laughs> this that guy's... is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Yeah. That's my plan. Eh. Yeah. Fast thinking. I forgot how to throw stuff. If you follow me. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Yeah. Good job! Come on over here! Uh Jesus Christ Dooby 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 Don't mind me Yep Everything is a okay So now I think we're safe to go yeah <laughs> Yeah yeah Lovely. I'm a gardener. Hi. Oh, by the way, I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it. Oh, what did I tell you? <laughs> She's a sensible woman. That stuff from your ex is like manipulation 101. I know. I know. I guess I thought she was going to read into Do you have the right authorization to be here, mister? Shut up. Idiot. Shit, man. Hey. Foyer is secure. Hey. Got nothing. Get out of here now. Move, move. What? They're searching for something, I don't know what. Huh? Hi. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. Uh, that is Alexa Carlisle, uh, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners and last one to be alive. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay, but I need to find files as well. That's not too helpful. Hi! What should I do here? Uh, I'll go to walk just? Because I'm a detective now? <laughs> That's handy. So coy, Sam. Okay. Hi. I should get back to so Ooh. Right. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can beat somebody with a newspaper. They want it. That's over here. I bet he's stringing all the girls along like that anyway. What? Hi. Just keep calm. Can I? Okay. That's a massive room. Oh. Hi there. 
He's in a better days, I think. Books! Okay. Yeah. I got some files. Okay, a full body. Oh. Teddy bear! Where the fuck am I? Oh, stop pacing, for God's sake, Emma. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude, that's what it is. Making us come here to play funeral and then uh. show up like nothing's the least bit strange. Oh, don't get your knickers all twisted. I'm telling you, she's not fit to be in charge anymore. She's gonna be dead soon, so don't worry about that. What can I do here? Like, nobody cares about me, that's brilliant. But I need to find the files somehow. And then I have a lockpick for that room. What's gonna happen if we're gonna climb through that? Oh no. Eh. 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 Computer. Okay. Is that the room we should be in? I'm not sure. Okay, still didn't find the paper, so... Goody goody goody. Maybe they're over here somewhere? Eh. Where the hell am I even? There's nothing here. And I can open those now? Maybe in the right place. Okay. But what do you think about the dead guy? It should be something about him. I think it's a pretty important thing, like, you know, the dead guy in the room. And I'm a detective, so that should help me and all that with the investigation. And they're gonna need to kill her as well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh no. Okay, anything over here? It's so quiet. Why is not nothing saying anything to me? I have a camera, I take a picture of you. I think the mission's broken. Let's just see what's gonna happen when I kill her. Sir, you're not authorized to be here. Where is she? Shh. Control, how copy? We're taking over here. Don't panic, people. Oh shit! shit. What? Harrison, I got your six. Now flush them out in the open. Where is she? I forgot that I can check that that easily. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think it's working. I think it just hasn't happened when I get to the rooms. Yeah, just kill me, guys. Kill me! Give it to me! That took your ages, guys. You're really bad at your job. I have another idea now, then. I don't think it's gonna be a good idea, but... It is an idea. I just need to be fast. Phineas, I know that. Private investigator. I have an That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should be protecting yourself, 47. You're not gonna make it. Son of a bitch! Me too. Oh, come on! Now it should be okay, I think. Now I'm the private investigator. Yee! Everybody is okay here? Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> they don't care about that at all. They're gonna be okay with all that. Well, if they're okay, I'm gonna be complaining. Who am I to judge them for that? Hello! 
Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Oh. Security measures. Yeah. Okay, just give me a second. <laughs> if you want to come through, I'm gonna have to pat you yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Come on. Yeah, get it, get it on. This will yep. just take a sec, sir. No problem. Yep. Yeah, I'm okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Stop it, yo! Stop it! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're in. And hi there. Could you help me? Ah, you must be Mr. Whitmer. Madam Carlyle has asked me to be of assistance to you. Okay. I trust you've had a good look around. Are you ready to see the crime scene now? Yes, I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Can I just take my gun? Give me a second. I'm just behind you! Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll probably learn that the stage funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Oh, Adam's uh -huh, children yes, yes. were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. Mm -hmm. So please bear with them if they seem affected. The rather unusual yes situation. yes no no problem mm -hmm. i trust i do not want to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that madam carlyle is still alive i'll consider her dead when i leave yeah before you inspect the crime scene <laughs> i will tell you this yeah dead the case concerns the death of mr zachary madam carlyle's hello brother he was found dead in his bed this morning over here yeah the door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter Can was found I go? in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. Okay. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A Shut up. room murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. I hope so, to be honest. Okay, so... Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. You see, now she's talking to me. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Uh -huh. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh, it's a scanner thing. I think it is just, just to take pictures. Well... Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. Yeah, you do yes. know your poisons, 47. <laughs> yeah. So now I can go here as well. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. Oh. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. A peephole. And him. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Okay. Butler. Where the fuck is he? Butler boy! Butler? Where did you go? Did you see the butler? Probably downstairs already or something. Butler! You know that's not my house and not feeling comfortable like, you know, running around like crazy. Yo! Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish yeah. a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's okay. the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Thank you, Please but I don't want to when you've talk to all case, of them. I have like, you know... Take you, to Madame Carlyle. you know what? So I can now have a chat with everyone in the house? I can't go without my button now, can I? I'll have a look. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? 
Motive means an opportunity. I want to check that room that it was May in I earlier somehow. It's going to be awful because I'm going to need to do the same thing now. Searching the manor for clues first. I will do that. Uh, but where it was that weird room? Oh, it's over here. Okay. That is the door to Rebecca's room. And we all know what I need to do. Uh, <laughs> Why it's so high? Uh, just don't look down. Don't look down and everything's gonna be perfecto. Yeah. Haha. -ha. Okay. So now... I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9pm to midnight last night. So that gives me nothing on her. Okay, it could be something more than just that. So maybe you should go upstairs. Can I check upstairs? Or no? I received the vault token for the Moulton Fitzpatrick London Bank. Did I understand correctly that I should give it to Rebecca in case of your death? Exactly. She holds the other one. I want her to have the file on Arthur Edwards if I die. Uh, I'm not fearful uh, she will be in trouble if she knows. She will start digging when she realizes things don't add up. Inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew yes. who she's up against. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she'll be able to hit him where it hurts. Oh. But I don't want her to get involved prematurely. Hopefully she'll never have to get involved at all. Okay, can I go up here or is it illegal for me? For centuries the Carlisles have No hard feelings, sir, but you need to leave. Alright? Can't let you through. Okay. Can I talk to you? Looking good, looking good. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Wait. What are you doing here? You never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. Wait. It's all gone. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Yep. Time to get the files. And can drop those bodies. Over here. Yeah, come on. Madam, uh -huh. uh. body number one and body number. Oh, I can't hide it here. Right, that's not handy to be honest. Just don't open those doors, please. How many bodies I can hide here? Okay. Okay, two bodies, and can I hide body over here? Nothing here, and nothing here. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look too good for me. But wait, maybe I can disguise myself as one of bodyguards. Okay, so now I'm one of the bodyguards, and they can have a gun on me. That's pretty nice. So now they know my face, but they're gonna be still okay to be like, okay, you can pass. Looking Yo. good today, sir. I know, I know. <laughs> You're stupid, you know that? Any temps on today? That's a up. massive eagle. Whoa. Fuck. What the... What's that room? What the fuck? I'm gonna go up, okay? I need to find her room somehow. Ooh, can I? Okay, I think I need to do something different here. Is that her desk or something? I'm looking for files. What's that? I don't want to click that. Oh, that's going to be bad for me, probably. Probably some alarm or something. Which room is hers? Is that just a closet? You know if any new staff Mysterious the switch. I can't forget his eyes. So swollen, it didn't even look like Zachary. I've never Hello, seen this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. 
I don't Do know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. Madame Carlyle he certainly seems to think so. That Alexa Why else would she have come to take Shut up! And that he has to write the eulogy the for some make-believe no, funeral event. Not that I, I still it. have the restraining order oh, on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa eyes. is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police Yeah, she's involved. dead, so... That's good. I'm looking for some paper work, you know. Or some documents, you know. All that fine stuff. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. What? It's got real soul. First time here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah. How can I? I see a button. So peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, forty seven. Okay, the clock. Where is the clock? Okay. The clock is showing me wait, uh, because it's gonna be it's like eighteen past six or something. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything on the clock? Okay, let's check the other ones. Like the first number I can brute force if it's gonna be needed. But over here, it looks like. Oh! Nine! Okay, okay, so there's a number like hidden around here. Nine, five? Where's your number? Is it engraved on you or something? Where's the fireplace? Seven, that's five, nine. Is there any more clocks or something? Oh, one. Okay. One, nine, seven. It was five. Mission complete. Well done, 47. What? That was weird. I just gonna run. <laughs> On today? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, I bring it. Oh. Keep Madame Carlyle safe. I like to know about the <laughs> Yeah, keep her safe. <laughs> Run. You gotta keep her safe for sure. I'm positive about that. See ya, guys. Yeah, I'm going home now. It's end of my shift, so yeah, I'll be going. That was nice, like you know, having we chat with you guys. Yeah. See ya. Mhm. Mm like nothing happened. That's just end of my shift, that's how I'll be... Mate... <clears throat> wait, 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 give me a second. Mate... You don't see those dead bodies over there? By any chance? Look at... Look over there, just lady. It's like... Three guy, Two guys over here, and then like three guys over there. And you don't see that from here at all. Yeah, you see nothing. Okay. I'm just gonna go home. Like, nothing happened. I think over here was a deeper story. <laughs> I just... I <laughs> just did something wrong and right the same, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks awful here. Ah! 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! What? Eh? Uh, okay, run! Eee! <laughs> what happened over here? There's gunshots and everything. I don't like that. But we did it. Oh. Nice.